Hoot child, it's been a minute since I have sat in front of this camera to record something. I don't even know if I'm even gonna post this to be honest with you. Has it been a year? Mmm, that's sad. It's been a year. So anyways, I'm here because I'm about to redo these braids. The, the, what, what are they called? Boho braids? Some, whatever. With the human hair, right? It's my second attempt at them. And I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at them. But as you can see, these are rusty, dusty, and crusty. And I'm going to uh, take these out and reinstall them. You can see the hair. I have not been taking care of it. I bought three packs. Is this still considered three bundles though? Because like there's two bundles in each pack. So I would assume that this is six bundles, right? I'm using the free tris this time. Focus on the paint, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is mix two colors. I'm doing 30 and, what color are you? Four, cause that's like that brown, that dark brown color. I already washed my hair, it's good. I just didn't take it out. And because I didn't take it out because I wanna keep the party. Parting is like the worst part of this entire install. Part in the back of the head is like witchcraft. So I am successful at it. I don't feel like exerting that much energy. So the I technique that I'm using, I ain't got one. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm kind of like in between the curl and braid ratio and I wanted more curls. So I'm gonna add more strands, but I'm only gonna add more strands to like the crown part. So from like here, and around is where I want more curls to be. Everything else below that, I'm probably gonna add three strands because I feel like it gets really, cause it's brushing up against my back, it gets really nappy in the back versus the front. So that is my idea and my math and my head is telling me that's gonna work. So it's gonna work. To separate the hair, you take it out of the bulk. You cut off the little golden rubber band that they always put around it. You add some edge control to the blunt inside of it and you separate it like that. The thickness depends on how much curl you are trying to have. And then my parts are kind of small. So my strands are probably gonna be about yay big. I'm using Shining Jam because it ain't never did me dirty. I took off because your girl was having goddamn panic attacks. Like. It was, it was, it was very traumatizing. I don't wish that on my worst enemy because I just feel like I'm dying every five seconds and that is so annoying. Very much unproductive. I feel like I just couldn't get nothing done and so I just quit everything. Was that the right answer? To this day, I still don't know. But I feel like it helped me because now I'm getting back into it and I feel like I have a new perspective on it. Because before I feel like I definitely took social media and all that a little too seriously. Just, just, just a little. The curls are so pretty and it is so super soft. I'm gonna start taking out a braid and then come back and show y'all the end result. All right, I know it's like I ain't do much of nothing, but I did do the first row and so I just wanted to come on here <laughs> and be proud of myself for that because that first row is always the hardest. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get back to working or watching my Bob's Burgers. I'll be back. I finished the third row now. This is what we, we are looking like. All right, I had a little lunch break. Let's get back into it. I applied a little bit of my gel. Yeah, it just helps me grip it. Split the hair into three ways. So we can begin adding the hair. So there's one rotation there. Two, three. And then I'm gonna add a piece of hair right here. I like to add it between my index finger and thumb and then the other one goes over the index finger and then grip it again and rotate and bring it down oh I lost a piece there we go now I bring it around and then take out the curly piece right there bring it up And add another piece of hair in. And I go in between the thumb and index finger and then braid it on down. Now I rotate it a couple times to make sure that it's secure in the braid before I take the curly piece out. 
I feel like it helps on my keeping down some of the shedding for when I go in to brush the, the curls to help them out. I'm gonna add another piece of hair. And rotate it a couple times and then take it out. Make sure I don't take my real hair out because that has happened. And then rotate a couple more times. Oh, excuse me. I'm adding a cute little blonde piece right here. And then take it out. Super easy. Now that I'm getting towards the end, here's my real hair right here. And then the braiding hair is right here. You can definitely tell the difference between my hair and the braiding hair. Um, and then I just keep going until, oh, I forgot to take out hair. Until all of my braiding hair is pretty much covered. So this blunt end piece that I'm adding in, then you see my thin ass piece of hair. I want to make sure that it is longer than my real hair to kind of help with ending it off and tying it off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. And I got this piece. So now I have two strands that have curly pieces. This is the only one without one. So I'm going to take my last little piece. And this is 10 strands of curls that I've added in. And now each strand has its own curly piece so it can go past my hair. And I'm gonna braid it down, braid it down. And to tie it off, I take a really, really skinny piece of hair. Hurry up. There we go. And I wrap it around, pull it through, do it again. I'm gonna do it three times to kind of help with keeping it tied. Right, and then any blunt pieces that are sticking out because they do tend to stick out i'm gonna just cut those right on off and there we have one boho braid completely done with nothing but human hair i feel like this is a good amount that i am adding like it's almost like every inch or so i have a curl coming out so i think it's it's working for the fullness as far as you know like was that two, four, six, yep, seven. And then I added three at the very bottom. All right, I've been at this all damn day. I've made it to now only have two rows left, this row and this in row. I still have plenty of hair left though. So I think I'm good. I still have a pack of brown and a pack of the blonde. So I'm gonna take it down so y'all can kind of see the fullness of what I'm working with in the back. I feel like it is extremely curly back here. All right, y'all, so I've had my braids in for about two to three days now. I feel like you gotta let certain styles marinate 
before you know you have your final opinion on it i went ahead and dipped them in hot water and it wasn't boiling hot water i just wait until like a little bit of steam starts coming up off the water and then i just dip the entire braid into it and i do that to kind of help seal it because my knots are not the best when it comes to like knotting off the ends on these braids but i think it's so far it's holding up like a few knots have came out but nothing has completely like unraveled or anything like that i really do love these curls i think the curls are really pretty and that like distinct hair smell that you get from human hair has kind of like calmed down a little bit so I first installed these, like every time I would turn my head, I would get a whiff of that human hair smell and that was a little annoying. So it's finally starting to come down. Either that or I've gone nose blind to it. But I do wanna show you what it looks like wet cause it is kind of frizzy now, but I kind of like how big and full it looks versus the really willy, like the really wet look. So I, all I have is some simple water in this bottle. That is it. And I'm just misting. All right, so here it is wet and here it is dry. So I prefer the day three kind of dry hair because I'm an Afro girl and I love big hair. So big hair don't care. It's always, it's, I'm always gonna prefer this look. Reetress came through with this hair. I am obsessed. I probably will be using the brand for all of my boho braids at, at moving forward. And I will link it down below in the description box if you wish to shop this hair for your boho braids. Getting those likes and comments lets me know that y'all want to see more content here on my YouTube channel. And the more that I see of that, the more I'm willing to post on here. I did take a very long hiatus, but it was very much, much needed. But I appreciate you guys still sticking it out with me. I will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be safe.